Now this weapon, the Golden Hellboard, is one of the weapons that you can use the entire game. And it will always be very good. It's one of the most hardest hitting weapons you will find. The Golden Hellbard, if you didn't know, is one of the earliest weapons that you can get in the game, provided you can beat the first major enemy you see in the game. It is in fact dropped from that golden tree sentinel, that big golden guy on the horse that you see right at the beginning of the game. You literally cannot miss him, you should know who I'm talking about. He literally rides on a horse in this area. If you defeat him, he drops this Golden Hellbard. So let's have a look at how this weapon works. So this is a special weapon that you're going to be upgrading with somber smithing stones. I've upgraded mine to plus 10 because I used it for pretty much most of my game until I swapped over to the Moon Veil because it was more fun. This weapon, however, is very sturdy and very hard hitting. And you can tell by looking at my physical attack power equaling basically 600. Not to mention I still have holy damage as well. That's almost 300 there too. Now because it's a special weapon, you cannot change the Ashes of War, the Golden Vow, which actually increases your defense and your attack power when you activate it, by the way, so it makes you even stronger and sturdier to use. Now this weapon scales primarily off of strength, so if you're using a strength type build or with your stats, this weapon is amazing for you. Secondary stats are Dexterity and some Faith. Now while you can by all means double hand this weapon and do insane amounts of damage, but if you actually want to play a little bit more cautiously, you are able to throw on a shield as a kind of like a defensive thing because this weapon is rather slow. So enemies that are really fast will usually catch you off guard or like ones with spears like this can like reach you before you hit them. I find when you stand still and you dodge, you do a back step and the moment you press attack again, you kind of like come in for this little like spear like rush thrust thing, which I find works really well for a lot of the enemies that you want to poke before they get towards you. Now let's talk about armor. So you can pick armor that looks amazing. You can pick it based on what you want your weight class to be. So with the shield, I kind of recommend going for like the heavier or medium kind of armor types here. Now this will be dependent on the armor that you wear and the shield that you equip because obviously having those two equipped already makes you quite heavy as you can see. So just some gameplay with the shield here. You can see this is really amazing. You use the shield, you block an attack, you strike immediately after it's like bang and then boom. It's like almost an insta kill for most enemies throughout like mid game, early game with this weapon. You can even stun them by hitting them with the weapon really easily because you're kind of like, like breaking their poise with the heavy attacks. It kind of just lets you just swing and swing and swing as long as you land the first hit. Now in case you're wondering about the shield, it's the Erd Tree Great Shield that has these stats over here. To find the shield, you do need to be in further later game. These are more for like aesthetic like feel if you wanted to just copy what armor I was wearing here you wanted to know. You're going to be getting the shield by defeating two Golden Sentinel Knights in this area run right about there. If you're interested in the Golden Armor, this one is called the Malformed Dragon Armor set kind of thing. And this one you're going to fight like really, really late game. You are going to find several Golden sets throughout the game, but this one's my favorite looking. And when you get it to the this location over here where I'm sure you should know it if you've played this before if not just keep playing it's on this bridge this major bridge here there is a knight on top of it and when you defeat this knight you will get this armor set overall I highly recommend playing the early game with this build using this kind of like hellbard with a shield because it, it literally just makes you unstoppable and for me who is like a first time player to like these souls kind of games this was extremely helpful to get used to all the systems that were at play while having a defensive approach and just kind of you know getting to experiment without being too like you know bullied by the game so if you're looking for a really tanky heavy hitting build this is definitely one that you should try and give a shot because it's going to be really easy to play with and i hope you guys enjoyed this video thanks so much for watching